Sweet dreams are made of these Who am I to disagree? Travel the world Welcome back inside the studios with Tyler Bates here. And that was a little clip from uh, you playing with Marilyn Manson in Italy. Yeah. Do that, you remember that night? Where were you that night? I do. We were uh, we were in Rome. Um, we flew from somewhere else on a charter to go and do that thing. But uh, so we we did it acoustically. He was being interviewed on this this show, and it's actually where Fellini used to shoot all his movies. And they turned Cheetah. Yeah, they turned this into a soundstage with yeah. full LED walls and everything. It was awesome. So for the Manson segment, they converted the place into a Gothic church. It looks so cool. We'll put the <laughs> and, uh, clip on our on our landing page. It's so cool. So the funny thing is, they have a house band slash orchestra with a conductor, and uh, they have to be part of the performance in some way. Well, they they had the band learn like the heavy version of the song, and I heard a demo of it. And I'm like, no, <laughs> not gonna happen. So, uh, so when we got there, you know, I had to talk to the conductor, and I said, look, we're gonna let's just do something with the orchestra. Let's do something like this, and I'll cue you when the time comes. Okay, just wait for me, and I'll cue you. So. Um, you know, because you never know what the arrangement's going to be when Manson and I play together acoustically. He may want to draw something out a little longer, and he knows that I'll just circle back around and pick him up for the Is next. It just verse. the two of you? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, uh, that happened, and this is you know, this is a town where the Vatican is, <laughs> and so <laughs> the part they showed on camera was us playing "Sweet Dreams," and then we had a. a we have a song from the latest record called Heaven Upside Down, and this, the song itself is called Say Ten. We were going to call Ooh. the record Say Ten because it's the 10th record, you know? Yeah. Um, so Fitting. So the chorus is you say God and I say Satan. And <laughs> so we started playing an acoustic version of that, and we're talking like 1,200 people in there, kids, elderly people, oh, in God. between, Manson fans are all chanting as loud as you can imagine, you say God, and I say Satan. It was hilarious. you know. So there's about four million experiences like that I've had, which has made it, made it good fun. You guys connected on Californication on the set, if I read that correctly. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? Do you just how do you bromance with Marilyn Manson out of the gate? What's the pickup I line? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. We we had a very we you know we had a slightly contentious uh, introduction. I was hmm. I was a little tired and and irritated by the time I had met him. But um, we had to perform together because the final episode of season six was a wedding that was filmed at the Greek theater. And so Tom Kapanos wanted to turn it into a concert. So they brought in a couple thousand extras and then Manson wanted to perform and Steve Jones performed and uh, Tim Minchin. So it was a full on concert. And um, I don't know, when Manson and I played in front of an audience, he just, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, felt that we had a chemistry and then I spoke to him uh, two days later we did a rap party so we did another concert and we talked about getting together and potentially doing some work uh, on some music and it took about a year we did another performance together and then we finally got together and started uh, The Pale Emperor I mean we didn't get together to make a record we just got together to to have a conversation in music and to see what would happen and it just was very natural. And Does he I, think about? I'm sorry. No, I think my work with directors and studio executives over the years uh, definitely helped me have a very effective collaborative relationship with him. And oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a, you know again, I'm my job is to understand him for who he is now and and what's the story that needs to be told that's going to be interesting you know so i wanted to sort of cleanse uh cleanse the palate of the the mansonisms that i think that people he might have been working with were were just bringing to the table because they think that's what it's supposed to be and and uh i think he wanted to eschew some of that and turn the page and see you know what he was capable of now and so that led to these two records and it was uh it was more than interesting has he ever been interested?